ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. <laughs> all right, so y'all know what that damn meme means, okay? Yes, we have another tale coming from the damn Pissy Pied Piper, okay? So if you guys don't know, honey, the other day R. Kelly decided to start his own website to expose these women and expose their lies. It was called survivinglies.com and they also started a matching Facebook page. And when I tell you that bitch was grand opening, grand damn closing, okay? Cause they shut it down. So once again, R. Kelly receives another L cause afterwards you can't spell R. Kelly without not one but two damn L's. Okay, so what happened is that basically he started this Facebook page and the Facebook page was exposing these women Particularly Asante McGee. She was the one that was featured in the documentary um, She was the older woman who went to go live with him and basically she was crying as she was doing the walkthrough around the house Well, there's a videotape well, there's an audio tape that's on YouTube. It's been on there for about a year now, so it's not nothing new. And basically, her daughter is busting her out and telling her boyfriend how, you know, the mother would leave her at home to take care of the other kids while she ran behind R. Kelly. So that's one of the videos they were trying to use to discredit her. And they were posting other things. This page had over 14,000 likes, and I think the comment that had me cracking up the most was this comment. Check this out. So somebody asked R. Kelly's page. They say, my question is, my question exactly, how is he texting her back and they said he can't read her ad? So the moderator of Surviving Lies says, all phones have voice apps. <laughs> When I seen that, I fell the hell out. I'm like, this entire situation is a hot damn mess, okay? So basically, Facebook was not playing. They shut it down within not even an hour, okay? literally grand opening, grand closing. It was shut down. And right now, if you go to survivinglies.com, the, the domain hasn't even been bought, okay? So I don't know what the hell R. Kelly's talking about, but there has been several updates in the case. One, they're saying that the state of Georgia is definitely looking to press charges in the R. Kelly situation. Go ahead and check this out. Now it's being reported that R. Kelly is reportedly under investigation in Georgia. According to TMZ, the probe is a result of Lifetime's of Lifetime's recent docuseries, Surviving R. Kelly, which saw survivors and former employees opening up about the abuse they experienced and witnessed. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office has reportedly reached out to a number of survivors who were featured on the show, including Asante McGee, one of the women who escaped R. Kelly's home. A source told TMZ that the investigation is also now working with an attorney for Jocelyn Savage's family. Investigators were reportedly flooded with calls following the six-part series and are working to find contact information for others who lived in Kelly's home or may have direct information about abuse allegations. R. Kelly has continued to deny the allegations of abuse and sexual misconduct with minors. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So now after that was announced in Atlanta, yesterday in Chicago, prosecutors came out and one of the chief detectives came out and says that they're looking for victims. They want people to call in. They literally had a whole news conference about this R. Kelly situation. So it's definitely getting serious. And the state attorney, Kim Fox, they basically held a news conference stating that they want victims to come out and basically let them know their story because they're looking to press charges on R. Kelly. So y'all go ahead and check this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. King News, the Cook County State's Attorney is calling the allegations against R. Kelly in a Lifetime docuseries deeply disturbing and she is asking any victims related to these allegations to come forward. Um, what I will say is, is that if we are going to take these allegations seriously, it requires, this isn't one of those situations where it's just forensics. We need actual witnesses and victims uh, to have the courage to tell their stories. 
This news comes as sources say the entertainer is being criminally investigated in Georgia. The investigation was launched over the past few days and is directly connected to the docu-series. R. Kelly has denied all the allegations against him. All right, so you guys just watched that news conference. Now, as of early, early today, they're basically stating that one of those victims ended up calling in and they have more than enough evidence to basically charge R. Kelly and nail him. So this is what TMZ is reporting now. Go ahead and check this out. So TMZ is saying at least one of the victims of R. Kelly, at least one alleged victim of R. Kelly and the families of two other alleged victims Tuesday night spoke, spoke Tuesday night planning to present Chicago prosecutors with what they believe is sufficient evidence to prosecute the singer for sexual abuse and other crimes. TMZ has learned that we're told that family members of one of the alleged victims was a leader was a leader of the efforts and he put together the evidence packet for the Cook County State Attorney. As we reported, State Attorney Kim Fox said Tuesday that she was sickened by the Lifetime's docuseries Surviving R. Kelly and asked that whoever and asked that anyone who was a victim or has information about a victim come forward. An attorney for another alleged victim who does not live in Chicago made it clear that she was going to contact the proper authorities on behalf of her client. They were fanning out to find other victims who would join join their united front before presenting their case to the state attorney. As of 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, the state attorney has received no calls from alleged victims. As for the two women who are still living with R. Kelly, Jocelyn Savage and Asriel Cleary, we're told that they are hiring lawyers in an attempt to stop their parents from their efforts to reclaim their daughters and get them out of the singer's house. The parents have been leading the charge against R. Kelly and believe that he's brainwashed their daughters. All right, so you guys just heard that update, but now there's even more information. People are really worried that R. Kelly may fly out of the country. They're saying that rumors are being circulated that R. Kelly's gonna take some of the girls who live with him. They're saying that he's gonna take these girls and possibly take them to Africa where he can't be prosecuted. So now the families are super worried about their daughters and if they'll ever see them again. So this entire situation is just getting worse and worse. In my personal opinion, I feel like the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, it goes way deeper than it just being about R. Kelly. I think basically it holds up a mirror to especially the black community on how we treat children and how we look at sexual abuse and how we look at victims. This series basically revealed a lot of deeply rooted sexual trauma within the black community. And I think that we also need to address an important topic that nobody's really hitting on is the fact that you know we're so indulged in the over-sexualization of not only women, but young women, and even the over-sexualization of boys, you know, treating them like bucks and you know, they're on Instagram showing off their chest and having eggplant contests and everything else. There's so much over-sexualization that it's just getting re damn ridiculous at this point. And I think that a conversation needs to be had. R. Kelly's not only a victim, he's also a product of his environment. And then he then became the abuser and the initiator and inflicted those same pains onto other people, okay? And I think another thing that we need to address is this, is that sexual assault and sexual abuse starts within the mind of the abuser. And we need to get a hold of people and get them treatment and get them care and believe them when they're going through it so that where they don't in turn inflict those same pains onto other people. And last but not least, I also think that people need to treat sex as something more sacred. I think because we're just so willy nilly with it and because you know sex is everywhere, I don't care if you're on YouTube, on Instagram, you know, just wherever you look, literally sex is in your face. You know, you have Twitter accounts that are literally showing porn every day and there's children on Twitter. There's so much sexualization, there's so much sexual stimulation, there's no respect when it comes comes to sex, okay? I think once we all start looking in the mirror and start holding ourselves accountable, you know what I'm saying, and start being there for these children and start being there for people and stop trying to just bash folks and automatically dismiss them, especially the ones who you know are truly victims, I think that's the only way that we can change this. I think that's the only way that we can break the cycle. There's so much dysfunction, even just looking at some of the comments and the deflections, you hear folks constantly screaming, well, you know, when are they gonna have a surviving, you know, Harvey Weinstein or a surviving this white person or this woman. All that is in due time. And hopefully all those come to fruition. But at this point in time, they're focusing on R. Kelly. They're focusing on R. Kelly and them creating a, you know, surviving Harvey Weinstein. That doesn't negate what R. Kelly has done. Let's talk about the topic at hand and let's stop deflecting. R. Kelly has done a lot of fucked up things to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Now I do have to give certain people in the documentary the side eye and I make no apologies for that. But for the majority of people in that documentary, they were victims of R. Kelly's abuse. I think that at the end of the day, 
said we need to stay on topic. The topic right now is R. Kelly, nobody else, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning the Pissy Pie Piper, um, basically now they're saying that there are real charges coming his way and that he could be looking at serious jail time. And also now people are circulating rumors that he might be possibly trying to leave America and go to Africa and find some type of sanctuary. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.